Hello everyone, Andrew at Fixology. We have a fun one today. It's something probably not many people see around. Uh, it's a Motorola. It is called a Moto Edge and the model number is the XT2141, which I will put in the description. Uh, we are going to be doing a screen replacement on it. It's got a good crack on it. Now, little um, a little uh, caveats before I do that is, this was a customer that since I am a mobile repair service, I did go out to meet the customer and do the repair on site, which went perfectly. However, when I went to touch this touch the screen functionality, like for the fingers and everything, it was not responding to touch. I checked with the old screen, it still worked. So I unfortunately had a bad screen. So if it looks like everything comes together a little too easy, it's because I've already opened it technically. But since I didn't get an opportunity to show anybody how this was taken apart, the customer let me have it just so I could get it done as soon as the part arrived, and it did arrive. So we've got a brand new screen for our device. This is one of those frameless repairs, so it will not have any sort of the of the of the um, plastic framing that you'd see on other Samsung devices, but very similar in terms of like how it tears down. So hopefully this screen will be good, and I won't have to put this. Cust I won't have to tell this customer they have to wait another couple days while I get another part in because these things just not a lot of options out there so i had to order from um just a website I'm not used to at all well so you're going to do the same thing you would do with most of these devices this does have a back glass that needs to come off luckily this is a plastic back glass so it's not going to be as susceptible to cracking however he did drop it um over here in the corner right off this third one here there's a little dent here and then when i did start opening around it did spread a little bit customer said that's totally fine um it's just, you know, he, he doesn't see the back anyways, it's in a case, so he, he says fine as long as it doesn't affect anything, which it won't. And like I said, it's been opened, so obviously it's coming apart super easy. Um, what you would do is just like any of the other ones, work your way all the way around, applying heat and alcohol if need be in order to get that adhesive nice and weak. This is the Tessa tape stuff, so it's like that fabric-based one, so it is a little tougher, um, but you can get through it fairly easily with enough uh, persistence. So back glass is off, and then we're going to do like we would all like we would do on the Samsung devices is we are going to remove all the screws from the top and bottom because we still need to disconnect certain flexes to work on it. And that was the new screen that I just dropped on the ground. Is she okay? Looks like it, good. You can obviously tell I am a professional. I like to throw my stuff on the ground to test the, uh, test how strong it is, test the Gorilla Glass factor. What is it saying? Oh yeah. Take apart just like the Samsung devices. And I'm still learning a bunch of the functions for photo, for video editing and whatnot. So um, I know the last video I said I was gonna try and get it so it zoomed in, but the creator that I was using, just the basic one that comes with uh, Windows, doesn't. it didn't seem to work with the zooming. I, I don't know why, so I downloaded a new one, which I will try with this video. Hopefully it'll allow me to do a little more functions to it. And then yes, I am still doing this off of my phone, which honestly the phone records well, but I didn't realize how weird I sounded on the microphone. Now I know what I sound like when I'm on the phone talking to people. All right, couple more. And then once this comes off, I do need to, I don't need to remove the motherboard, but I need to at least disconnect the battery. Oh wait, no, I do need to remove the motherboard, I'm sorry. Long day, brain's not working very well. So we're just gonna pop this guy up. This isn't any sort of antenna or anything like that. I believe it's just some essentially capped on tape, so it's just to prevent shorting. Just put that off to the side. See, as you can tell, I do have some other Kapton tape in here because I did use it before. That's just to prevent it from, you know, grounding out or shorting out or anything like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to remove said tape. Hoping I can reuse it. I don't know how sticky this stuff stays. I never really, I never really thought about that before. Pop that guy back. And 
And the funny thing is we don't actually need to remove the motherboard on this guy. For whatever reason, they designed, they designed this phone so the flex for the LCD runs underneath the battery. Which is really annoying because then that means you have to remove the battery to get it out, which is really annoying. Alright. So then disconnect you. Perfect, out of the way. And then the flex does run all the way across, and there is another one that runs across like this direction, like something like here, but the battery adhesive is not anywhere on top of those flexes, so when you pry up, you should be good to go. I am using a metal tool. Um, it's the slimmest to get in there, but what I did for the first time is I used this to get a regular spudger in, so I could create a little more of a gap, and then what I was doing, I was heating and applying alcohol through it, like just this way. Which, you don't have to use this kind of thing, but, you know, just putting alcohol in there to break the adhesive. And then just slowly working its way upwards. Since I already taken it out, the adhesive is weak. It's still strong enough to hold it in place because it doesn't rattle around or anything like that, but... Alright, so, yep, there's that flex I was talking about. This is going from the main to the subboard, the daughter board. And then that is the one for the actual screen. So, we're going to pop you up with a spudger. And if any of you are asking, you know, if I caused the problem, I rechecked this part before and I didn't see any sort of damages to it or anything like that. Got a little glue right there, but this thing seemed pretty mint. I just think I got really unlucky with a bad part, which, you know, what happens when you order from dealers that you're not used to. So what I'm going to do then is put it back on the adhesive because I did use some to put it in place. It's not as strong as the original stuff, but again, it's going to be the same process, which I will explain once I get it off. So I'm just going to put it on the heat for a few minutes. I will be right back. All right, and it's been on the on the hot pad for a while. So what I'm going to do is wiggle in my accessible underneath, which luckily on the back side of these, there is nothing that you can damage outside of the flex for the LCD. So you can go a little harder if you want. If you are trying to save the LCD, though, you got to go a little careful because if you go too hard, you'll actually start separating it from the, from the, from the um, actual glass portions. But like I said, it's been open, so it's a weaker adhesive. All I'm gonna do is I would do with the old one is just you would have to work your way down slowly with some sort of pick or a playing card, um, something along those lines using adhesive and heat. This is just the red the red strip adhesive, which you know works, but it's fairly weak. So I'm not gonna be using this same tape though. And plus, I want to return this because it's bad. So I want to make sure it's not damaged when I return to them. Otherwise, they won't give me back my money. Okay, so getting that, and then you can see the LCD, or sorry, the um, the flex for it is right there, which I'm just going to pull through the little hole. Beep. Oh. Come here, you. There we go. Take off the old adhesive, because I don't want to send that back with them. And if you look at the two, I mean, that's the old one, this is the new one. I don't see anything super obvious in here what's different. Those, those, These are just the fold marks from when it goes over the board, but I really don't know why this one doesn't have touch and that one doesn't. So it's just one of those mysteries, probably something, something wrong with something. But I'm not going to deal with that. It's just not worth it to deal with screens like that. So this is the old one. Bye bye You are going to go back home and I'm going to put you in the, in the nice little baggie they gave me. So... It doesn't cause any more damage, and I will drop you off at an Amazon return point, and then I will hopefully get refunded, because I had to pay for the new screen to come in, and they'll determine, oh yeah, the screen's bad, and hopefully give me my money back. If not, well, I'm going to be extremely annoyed. Alright, so that's garbage, which I will throw over here into the garbage bag. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so we're just going to put that to the side, though, for now, so up on the top. All right, so I'm going to take the old adhesive off just because I'm confident that this one's going to work. But also, I'm going to test it anyways, so let me just take off all this old stuff first. I'm going to mock it in for the, like, I should have done the first time. I don't know why I didn't. I just felt so confident. I'm like, oh, okay, you know, part coming from here, okay, should be fairly decent. No, but I gave my hopes up. And it was dashed against the wall. OK, 
to soap. Alright, so nice and clean. So let's take the new screen. And there's no adhesive on it, so that's good. And we're going to put you right in there. Mock you up so you're in line with the frame. Perfect. And then I'm just going to connect you. Oops. Whoops. Looks like the Capton wanted to come to the party. Which is fine, because that can't cause any damage anyways. Unless it got, you know, unless it melted. Alright, so I'm just going to attach that. And then... You know, this this will all get sorted out once I, you know, because i got to bend it and stuff like that. But then I'm going to do this. And I shouldn't need anything else to actually use the device. So let's make sure the screen turns on. All right, screen turns on. Because his screen was working when with the old screen, and when I tested it, it was still working too. So, I mean, all fingers point to a bad part, but there's always that little bit of anxiety once you tear apart a phone and put it back together you don't know until you turn it back on and test it oh thank god oh all right cool good part good part and i made him i made him feel bad too so i'm gonna i made him hold on over so i'm probably gonna take some i'm gonna probably take some money off of the repair just to make sure that everything you know he's not too un upset with the whole process which you know i would understand if somebody was upset that it took longer than anticipated but with how deliveries are these days right now, it, most people are understanding, but I want to make sure that I, he understands that I want to take care of him in the future, and um, I'll do what I have. I'll do what I need to to make sure that he's happy. So we have a good screen. Thank you. So now we're going to do the f now we're going to do the fun part of putting the tape on, so we can make this a permanent. Boop. And for this one, I am using Tessa tape as well, so it'll be this strong adhesive to hold it in place. <sighs> now, where is that beginning part? Because everybody loves finding the beginning part of a tape roll. There it is. You know, I'm gonna use this. Ah. Okay, fine. You don't want to work on my tweezers. Fine, I won't let you then. However, this will not. I don't know if this ha this phone had any claims to water resistance, but it will no longer be water resistant afterwards. Which, honestly, most of the time, if it's not factory done, it's kind of hard to get that water resistance i know samsung's procedure for it and if you get the parts you can make it do it but you have to get like some sort of weight you got to calibrate something and it can be it's something you gotta like get them to let you do and that kind of stuff to prove that it is watertight now you are not sharp i don't even use you that much why aren't you sharp hmm all right And then apples, I don't know. I know you can get the gaskets for Apple, but I don't know if you, if that, I don't know if just using their gasket it, uh, guarantees the water resistance, which honestly, sometimes Apple's claim to water resistance is kind of bogus. Some of the craziest stories I hear. All I did was splash water on it. All I did was drop it in the bath. All I did was la la la. Like little stuff where they're supposed to clean it up to a few feet up to five minutes or something like that. Just doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to stay that way. And no, I'm not saying that because I'm against Apple. I'm yes, I'm I am a Android Samsung kind of person, you know, PC that kind of stuff. I'm not particularly impressed by Apple, but you know, to each his own. Apple is super easy to use, so for older generation or people who are just getting their first phone, it's pretty easy to understand. Whereas Android, it's a little more of a learning curve, but you have more freedom with it. Like you know, all you techie people out there, you know, you can. 
um, install different uh, operating systems onto your phones, you know, do virtual boxes, break the things fairly easily, you know, all, all that all that crap that normal people don't really need to deal with. Right along the bottom. So I'm going to imagine that's where the speaker comes through, so I don't want to completely block that off. Man, these clippers suck. Hmm. Guess I got to get some new ones. I think I got these from a Hobby Lobby or a Hobby Shop. I don't know, something like that. Or maybe I can just sharpen them, but I don't know how I would do that at this angle. I don't have the materials for that. Eh, whatever. Okay, so I got the adhesive on. So now we are going to do the fun part of fully seating it. Oh, and if anybody ever knows, like, I don't know if any of you care, but what my magnet pads kind of look like is when I do, when I am using them, obviously this isn't a super one. If I ever get an iPhone in, that's broken. Right now I haven't actually had any iPhones. It's been weird stuff. But it'll be... I'll go left or right based off the squares. So I'll put this for this section, this for this section. And then for big parts, I'll do the same, essentially the same thing. I'll go left to right and then repeat it down a row. So in this case, you know, this is the last thing I took off. So it'll be the first thing to put back in when I go backwards. Same thing with that, then to that, and then to that. Uh oh Oh no, the back, the back cover, it moved. All right, so let's take off this cover, that cover, yeah. I'm hoping people are enjoying the stuff that I'm that I'm doing. Again, this is just an experiment to see if anybody enjoys what I do, or if you just listen to some, you're just listening to some red beard idiot just talk to himself. Which I guess, as long as I don't talk back to myself, then it's not insane, right? Right? Yeah, nobody's talking to me, so at least I don't think so. All right, so remove the cover for is it camera? Come here, you. You up with the other garbage. Okay, we're gonna pull you down, slide you home, and then I'm gonna start at the top, make sure that's nice and flush, and then just work my way down the sides. Which this Tessa tape shouldn't need any pressure to hold it in, but I'm still going to um, heat it up and add some pressure to it which means I'm going to put some weights on it while it's heating up. But honestly, I don't think I'll need to, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the whole thing anyways when I get the back glass on. Um, and then I'm just going to put some clamps on them, some of, some of like these kind of guys, nice little screwy clamps. I'm just going to put them around the edge after I have everything all set and done. But that'll be, that'll be a time-last thing where I'll, you know, I'll jump to that particular point. So now let's move you back out of the way because you're being stupidly annoying. Or you know, why don't we just go like... Fine. Why don't we go like this? Or not, because why listen to Andrew? Andrew doesn't know what he's talking about. He's a cray-cray. And I am trying very hard not to lean into the camera. A co-worker of mine men most mentioned to me, he's like, well, it's nice to see your big bald head in the way. And I went, I did that? And he showed me, and I went, oh yeah, look at that, big, big ass bald head. Which, you know, who cares if I'm bald, but I can understand where he's coming from. 
Come on. There we go. And then we're just gonna do this because it's still super sticky. Put that back on. All right, flip this. I don't know if this really is doing much right now, but I figured since it's on there, I'm gonna try and make it as how it went in as 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 much as it is. So at least they're you know grounded together because it followed this entire plate and this followed it all the way down there. Um, that one down there, I just realized I don't have anything. Um, I should have some kept on tape around here. Where would you be hiding? Uh, Mr. Tape? Hello? Initially, so I'm just gonna leave it now. Once I got some hiding in my little travel box, but I don't think I do. Huh. Why don't I have that? That's annoying. Okay, looks like I might have to just dig around a little bit more. It'll probably show up after I'm done with the repair, but yeah. Alright, so now we're in the process of going backwards, so next step we are going to put the cover the mid one of the mid frames back on which it's with its massive grounding cover electric shieldy thingy i honestly don't know what this is called if it was, if it had like an antenna in it it'd be the nfc or the wireless you know that would make sense but this is honestly completely empty so i can only guess it as like a grounding kind of thing Am I right or wrong? Who knows? Maybe somebody from Motorola can tell me for sure. And yes, I'm freckled. I am a ginger, so... Probably didn't mention the other videos, but yes. Bald, red, red bearded, pale, freckled. Steel souls for a living. Eh, it's got its ups and downs. And then what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to add some adhesive for the back glass because that their thicker Tessa tape stuff that you get, it doesn't come off on one side or the other like um, Samsung glasses or like even some Apples. Um, it breaks off in little pieces, so it's like, it's all foam. This is foam. It's not sticky at all, so it just kind of, it's anti-stick, I guess. So I'm probably going to have to run some adhesive along the inside here just to compensate for the fact that it doesn't have a good adhesive on it anymore. Well, sorry, not good adhesive, the original adhesive. And you might be thinking, well, why don't they just send you, well, not with the screen, they send you with adhesive. Well, most of these places are gonna save money, so they're not gonna put in that rubber, or the rubber, or, uh, gooey whatever kind of gasket in there saves them money plus you know if they don't get if they don't get it down right then it's not going to be sticky then they're going to be held liable for when it falls off later but i use the tesla stuff and honestly i use it on ipads all the time and it never fails on the ipads Me the last one. Oh, you bugger. All right, gotta magnetize you, I guess. You go there, get out of the way. Tip tenor. Where did I get you? Hmm. There we go. Magnetizer, best friend. Okay, so now I need my thicker tape. 
I need a rack to store all these things so I don't have to keep putting them in out of plastic. Uh, uh, how thick? I guess I can go with the thicker stuff. Yeah. Yeah, more surface area, so. Actually, no, I probably need to go with thinner stuff for the edges, so I'll just go with the in-between. It's strong. I don't I don't need it to be, you know, four millimeters thick or something crazy like that. Probably two mil will be just fine. This stuff's stronger than your, your red adhesive, your standard uh, double-sided. It's more expensive, almost double the cost for a roll, because I mean, you can get, like, a multi-pack of the red stuff for, like, ten bucks off of Amazon. This stuff you buy it individually. Um, last time I bought it, it was eight dollars each roll, and I bought three of them, which I still have. So it's not like I'm going fast through it, but definitely way more experience. Way more expensive. Ugh. There we go. Okay. So I'm just gonna run it along the edge here. Looks there's nothing important. Cause I gotta do it next to where the old adhesive is, but not on top of it, because then that'll be where the other that'll be where that sits. Alright, let's try you again. Maybe here? Oh! Sweet spot. We'll just go across here. I think I can hear my neighbors outside. Don't know if you guys can hear them, which I apologize if you do. But it's an apartment. What am I going to do? There is an antenna that's going over the top of here, but it's down in a groove, so it, this is totally fine to do. Man, I got a new camera set up. Over any openings. Okay. Put you back in your home. And just throw you over Shaw. Okay, so I wish I could remove some more of this stuff, but this stuff is tough to get off. Ugh. And I don't really want to scratch it because it's still paint on the backside, so I don't want to ruin it completely. This stuff is tough. I wonder if they do claim water resistance on this one. I feel like it, but anyway. Alright, so we're going to remove all the covers. One. Covers. No, one, all the Masking part? I don't know. My brain's not working. Sorry, this is, sorry if I sound like an idiot. Well, that just might be because I, I am, so. Alright, so that's back on there. No missing screws. All the parts are used for my magnetic mat. So then all I'm going to do is use the cameras to line it up nice. Nice and lightly. Make sure it's all lined up. I'm going to start at one, one end and work my way down. I 
That looks pretty good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up the entire phone. And then I'm going to apply some clamps to it to hold it in place. So I'll be back in a few minutes to show you guys how that looks. And again, this is just what I have on hand. What I would like to do instead is uh, get like a, I know they make um, presses for devices where you can like spin the top and it applies it down on a on like a piston kind of thing or just a screw and then you'd put it between two like rubber mats you just get it to a point where it sits nice and tight and you let it sit there for a few minutes but all i got right now is this or even using some weight like a like a block like a good block with like a rubber bottom or something like that and then put it on top of either a rubber mat or on top of a um, cloth so it's not a hard surface that normally works pretty well too I mean, for, for my iPads, I just, um, I take some heavy books, and I put the microfiber down, the iPad face down, so the back cover is towards me, and then I put those three, and then I put three books on top of it, and that's normally like 10 pounds or something like that of weight, and that's more than enough to let it uh, cool off and apply enough pressure to hold it in place. But I will be right back. All right, so it's been on there for quite some time, so all I'm going to do is go around three points. I'm going to go corner, middle, corner, which not my ideal because that goes over the camera, but it shouldn't crack it if I'm smart, if I'm being super delicate about it. So I just got to go until it's tight-ish. Okay. Again, this isn't my go-to, but I don't really have any sort of weighted stuff for any of those presses. The presses are really expensive, and there's not a lot available right now. So I some for iPad, which I could probably retrofit to use for small devices like this, but those are out of stock as well with my supplier, my normal supplier, not the ones that I bought the screen from. But as long as you're not too overzealous with the tightening, you're not going to crack the glass, damage the LCD, hurt the digitizer, or damage the back glass, which this is plastic, so it's a lot harder to break anyways. Just go until I'm a l until about finger tight, maybe just a little bit more. And these are rubber anyways, so you got a little bit of give. And then that is that. So I'm going to let it sit like this for 10-15 minutes while it cools off. Now the device was working like you said. I mean, sorry, like you said, like like I said and you saw. So thank you for watching. Uh, and if you have any questions or comments, you know, throw them in the comments list. I'm not going to say any other crap because right now it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just seeing if anybody likes this kind of stuff. Um, however, if anybody does have stuff they want looked at or fixed, uh, I am doing mail-in repairs or even if something you want me to work on just let me know i can always try and source like a broken one or something like that and go from there otherwise have a good night later